Hi, I'm Jen McIntyre, and I want to share the most effective resource I have found in teaching children how to read who have dyslexia. Katie Broadbent has created a fabulous resource for parents. She created this huge, huge book. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but it is an enormous book. And she is giving it out for free online. If you would like to go online and check it out, you can get the whole thing for free or you can print it out on your own or you have the option of buying it from her printer and it's like $30. That's what I went with because it's actually much easier and much cheaper than any printer that I could find. And this is full color. You get all the different beautiful colors that she has to offer in here. What is so fabulous about this resource is that it uses the Orton-Gillingham method, which most people know is really fabulous for, um, for dyslexia. I shouldn't say most people. I'd never even heard of it until I had my fifth child got old enough uh, to start reading. My first four kids read like I just started to think about maybe they should read and it seems like they knew how to read. It was amazingly easy. They, I showed them a couple of videos from Leapfrog Letter Factory and they had it. It was not difficult at all. And then my fifth child came along and she had desire through the roof to read. She wanted to read so badly and I, I wanted her to read. And so every time she would look at a letter, I would say, well, that letter says this and she, she couldn't hold on to it. She could not remember what it was and she started getting really frustrated. And I kept thinking, it's okay. I'm a no pressure mom. When it's time, she'll learn. It will be fine. It, it, it will happen when it's ready. It will happen. But I was confused because she so clearly wanted it. And usually when they want it, that's when it happens. And it just was not happening with her. And I, she was frustrated and I was feeling a little bit hopeless and I didn't know what to do. And I had a sneaky suspicion that something was off. So I called my friend who is dyslexic and just said, tell me what you know. And she started asking questions like, does your daughter love art? I was like, well, yes, actually she's very artistic. And she said, is she really good spatially? Does she understand where she fits in in space? And I thought, yes, she does. What does this have to do with anything? And she asked a couple other questions. Is she good at fixing things? And does she have a hard time hearing different subtle sounds in words? Does she have a hard time telling the difference between those? And I thought, yes, yes, what are you saying? And she said, oh yes, your daughter is dyslexic for sure. And I said, thank you so much. And I hung up and I cried because I didn't know how to teach that. I didn't know, I didn't know what I didn't know. There was so much out there that I'd never even considered because reading has been easy for me and my first oldest kids. And I, I don't even know the rules of English. I've heard they're difficult. I don't know what they are. And so I was completely overwhelmed at the idea of having to teach something that I really didn't know anything about. And when I finally hit this crisis point, that's when I started praying. And really, don't do that. Pray before you hit the crisis. But I got there and I, I prayed and I prayed. And within a couple of days, I saw this review for Treasure Hunt Reading. And I saw it on a, a Facebook page. And I looked into it and I was amazed at how many wonderful reviews it got and how cheap it was. Because I really thought I was ready to, to you know, give over my firstborn to be able to solve this problem. I just didn't know what to do. And it, she's practically giving the answers away. And so I ordered this and I got it. And my child, who really, really could only barely tell what some of her letters said, now is able to read very large, very complicated words. And it's been about one year using this program. This is an empowering program. It is it, it uses this method of teaching all the rules and going over them in an orderly and a kind of redundant way, which is exactly what you need when you have dyslexia. And it is very powerful for kids. So let me show you their website really quickly. This is found at treasurehunt.prenda.co. Um, and you can see on here that she has all these little, you know, squares, but these are videos. So when you click on them, she will open up her video. This one happens to be five minutes. Most of them are not that long. Most of them are only a minute or two long. And in this video, she will, ex she will explain um, what the letter says. She will have a little hand motion for it. She will have you practice tracing it. And then you will go through and do some sort of activity with it. So for instance, here's why. So on this, she would go through and talk about what the sound is that the Y makes. And here's a big yawn. And here's also the, she has you trace it. And then you get to write it down here several times and play a couple games and circle these. And then um, 
be able to listen and hear the sound of the ya. So I would read this to my child and, and they would clap their hands or jump up and down or whatever every time they heard me say the sound ya. So they're able to identify it in their ear and with their words and, when, and they say it as well. Um, and then at that point, you get to come down here and it says, you can sign this off and go give yourself credit. So you go at the front of the book on this cardstock page, which is really lovely and an adventure. And you would find the Y, wherever the Y is. I don't know where it is on here somewhere. And you would color in the Y because you have finished that point. And so you follow this journey. This, the first journey is the letters. The second journey is a lot of letter teams and special sounds. And the third journey down here, we're still working on the third journey. It has a lot of letter teams and special sounds as well. And this really opens the door and creates reading as a real possibility in the life of kids who maybe it was never really uh, something they considered they could have. This has been empowering and exciting. And I am huge shout out to Katie Broadbent because just an amazing resource that she has brought and made available to us. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope if you have a dyslexic kid, try this out. This is really powerful stuff. And um, subscribe and join me for any other videos that you might be interested in. I'll catch you on the next one.